the Central Bureau of Investigation or the CBI will soon begin probe into the multi crore Nagaland High Court construction scam. The development comes after a bench of the Guwahati High Court, headed by Chief Justice Ajit Singh and Justice Prashant Kumar Dekha, ordered the CBI to investigate into the alleged misappropriation of funds for construction of the High Court complex in Kohima, Nagaland, vis-à-vis -vis the snail pace of the construction work. The CBI will also submit a report to the Guwahati High Court within the next three months. This matter was first raised through a petition that was filed by the Nagaland Tribes Council and several social and RTI activists at the Guwahati High Court. The various organizations are furious and are longing to find out why Nagaland does not have a high court even after 11 years since the money was sanctioned and the foundation stone was laid for the complex construction. It all dates back to the year 2007 when the then Nagaland state government had allegedly withdrawn a whooping sum of Rs 44.24 crore against electrification and water supply for the High Court construction site, which is in the Miriama village, about 15 kilometers away from Kohima. Besides this, another Rs 32.42 crore for the construction of bungalows for the judges was withdrawn, the area for which has not been allocated even till date. Not only this, the government has apparently also paid Rs 1.3 crore as consultancy fee for the construction of the High Court complex which the Guwahati High Court termed as beyond belief while hearing the plea of the petitioners on Wednesday. Besides these startling claims, the petitioners also alleged that merely 35% of the work has been completed in the past 11 years since the construction began. After this, between March 2009 and March 2017, Nagaland's Justice and Law Department made 18 withdrawals from the state exchequer, thus taking the project cost, which was initially estimated to be around Rs 9.63 crore to Rs 52.63 crore. The department also took a loan of Rs 12.46 crore from the Housing and Urban Development Corporation Limited. Despite making such luxurious withdrawals, the state still has no trace of a functional judicial complex. Another point to be noted here is that Manipur, Meghalaya and Tripura had started the construction of their respective high courts around the same time as Nagaland. While the other three states received complete and well-constructed high courts, years back, Nagaland seems to be lagging far behind. On being questioned about the delay, the Nagaland Chief Secretary, Temjin Toy, thought it was too early to comment on the issue and only said that he would convene a meeting with the concerned departments in due course of time. Well, it will be difficult for me to make any comments at this point of time, but I will be convening a meeting of the concerned departments to take stock of the situation. Even after several crores have been sanctioned for the construction of the High Court, why are there no concrete results? Is there an ugly truth behind this unnatural delay? Well, with the residents of the state becoming more conscious of their rights and surroundings, perhaps the government will have to break its silence on the matter sooner than they are expecting. With camera person in Zang, Sarah Konyak, reporting for Northeast Live, Kohima.